Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be starting the process of taking our website online. Now, so far, we've just been mostly working on some static files in our own computer. Now, we're going to learn about hosting, the difference between hosting and local hosting, and what you can do to actually get your website on the internet. Okay, so while our website isn't really looking amazing yet, in fact, it's okay. However, before we get things really finalized and start to make things looking a little bit more like something you'd see here, let's go ahead and talk about hosting. Now, right now our website, if we head to it, lives on a folder in our computer. And if we access any of our files, you notice that when we open up this page, it has this big long path here. Now, locally, when you're working on websites, you'll want this path to not necessarily be a path to a file, but you'll want a web server running on your computer. It essentially just means a system's running on your computer, and when it's looking at this, it's not looking at this as this path to this file. However, it's hosting it at a specific port or even local domain. Now this isn't something that you'd be able to see uh, on another computer. However, locally, the site's going to function much more similarly to what it will online. For instance, in the last video, we added these links in the footer that had a slash in front of them. Now that slash removes the entire path. So if these links were actually functional, let's actually head to our footer itself. You'll notice that we just have slash here. So on a web server, this slash would just take you to the very root of your page. For instance, if you were on Google, this forward slash would take you to Google's index page. And this slash about would take you to about. Whereas these links in the header will take you to this page relative to where you are currently. So if you're at a path that is a few paths deep, for instance, right now, like we are, when you go to about, it's just replacing this index with about. But if your domain, let's say we're on a Bluehost, let's just go to one of these pages here, and you were to change that, lo that path, it wouldn't be changing the root of the path, just the end of the path. And that's obviously not what we want moving forward. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a hosting account. And there's a ton of places you can get your site hosted from anywhere from Bluehost to uh, Gatorhost or a whole bunch of these shared hosting services. If you're using just a basic HTML site, these are great places to start. After we sign up for a hosting service, we're then going to be using an application that does FTP or file transfer protocol to connect to our server where we can then upload our files that we're working on here where you'll be able to visit them on the entire internet anywhere just by browsing to that domain. Now a lot of these services like Bluehost allow you to get a domain with your purchase. So if you get started for $3.95 a month, you get a free domain and you get some things like 24 seven support. You can even get like a one click WordPress install and free site builder, stuff like that. Actually, if you're going to be signing up for Bluehost, check out a link in the description of this video. Uh, if you sign up using the Level Up Tutorials affiliate link, it helps this channel out a whole ton. And if you don't wanna help me out, that's totally fine too. However, what you need is to sign up for a hosting account. You need to end up at what's called a cPanel here. So after you've signed up to either Bluehost or HostGator or something like that, uh, and you have access to your cPanel, then proceed to the next video where we're gonna talk a little bit about FTP. Now back to the local server. After we get this all set up, then I'm going to show you how to set up a very simple home local server. Now there's all types of server technologies from Apache to Nginx. Now we don't have to go into in depth about what these are doing because right now we're just primarily learning about the front end tools of web development. So for now, you really don't need to worry about the technicals. However, after we get this site up and running on a real host, we're going to be using some software to power a local server so that we can access this site, add something that's not a long file path and so that 
our links will function just like they do online. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. In the next, we're going to show you how you can set up your FTP to sign in to your hosting platform. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.